everyone's got like just a little bit of anxiety about public speaking, no matter how confident you may be. When you get up there, there's always like that. The most important thing in oral presentations is to act confident, even if you don't feel confident. And we act confident by doing a couple of things. First of all, speak loudly and clearly at a good pace. Secondly, make eye contact with your audience. And that's pretty much it. If you speak loud and look at them, they will assume that you're confident and that means that you'll get higher marks, people will take you more seriously and they'll engage more with your talk. It doesn't matter if you don't feel confident. Your audience is very, very bad at reading emotions. Lots of studies have now shown that people can't tell if you're nervous and that your degree of nervousness doesn't influence your grade. So for public speaking and then if you have assignments where it requires to do any public speaking like presentation, it's really good that you practice um, in front of your friends or a safe place where you can just practice without any feeling of judgment. Because I feel like um, when you actually practice in a safe environment, the uh, environment that you're comfortable of, you will be more confident in as well. So definitely practice with your friends or your family or anyone else. Understanding the way you feel in certain situations, there may be you know, a way that you deal with it better than others. Maybe you, know, you might need a coffee before you do a talk to, to calm you down. You might just need a bit of a nap. So you work out those strategies that, that obviously help. And just trying not to maybe make direct eye contact with people. I found that that works for me quite well. You're still sort of like maybe looking at a crowd, but just don't single out individuals. Maybe refer back to what you're presenting on a board as well to give you a bit of that distraction. So, yeah, it, it really comes down to as you do more presentations, finding out what works for you because you, you'll see that over time and then just trying to apply those things so that you become better at public speaking because it's useful for everyone. Prior preparation makes so much more of a difference. When you go up there already knowing like they've gone through your notes, you have an idea of what you're saying compared to like when you've rushed everything last minute and you're not exactly sure, you're stumbling over your words. You may miss a palm cutter, you may go over a point that you don't remember or you start, um, you know, you skip something and you remember you skip something else and then like just go into that like endless like role of panic and then, you know, so like try and do your notes, not just do your notes earlier, Go over your notes, practice your notes. Oral presentations are best done after lots and lots of practice. Very difficult to do, but if you can find a friendly audience, your housemate, um, a child, children are usually quite brutal and quite honest.